If you just join, don't worry us. I'm talking to those who have joined all this while. Class starts at eight. You, you just join, it's not my problem. Those who have been talking to all this while, please do you understand? And sir, you sir, yes, we've sir. been around, but we had a network problem. A bit confused. I'm saying that anytime you have an equation written as this, this guy here, they are known, there are information that you have to identify with. And in business modeling, we have to identify these items specifically within the equation that we have. We have what we call decision variables. Decision variables, like I said, you go to the mall, you want to buy Coke, you want to buy Fanta, you want to buy something else. Those are the things you have in mind to buy. But because you don't know how much to buy, how many to buy, sorry, how many to buy for each of them, we represent the unknown variables as what? Decision variables. Means that X1 here, X2, XI to XN are known as decision variable in business modeling. They are no, not, we won't say unknown variables, unknown variables. We will call them decision variables. Then each of the decision variable comes with some numbers. So the unit price of the Coke you have, you know, you know the unit price of the Coke. You know the unit price of what? Fanta. You know the unit price of what? Sugar. Those unit price each are called coefficient of the decision variable. Okay? So if it is profit and a business wants to make profit, the coefficient of the decision variable is the unit profit that has been identified to each of what the items to be sold. Then based on what we have available, B in this equation is referred to as what? Resources. Because you have to use resources to allocate or share among the decision that you have to make. Resources can be money, it can be time, it can be labor, it can be raw materials. These are the resources that you have to use. So if I have any given equation in this form, I need to be able to identify three things, as I said, the decision variables, the coefficient of the decision variables, and the resources that are what, available. Please, is that okay? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, good. So your parent gave you 300 Ghana cities to go and spend on some items. And let me say those items, you have rice and what? Soda drinks. You go to the mall and you are told that a unit price or a unit cost of the uh, rice, a bag of rice is 20. And a pack of soda is also what, 15. This is simple. You are thinking about how many of rice should I buy, bags of rice should I buy, and how many bags, uh, packs of soda should I also what, buy. This is the problem that you have, given that you have a resource of what, 300. How do we write a mathematical expression in able to know how many or how many number of rice to buy and how many of soda drinks to buy, given the available resources of 300 Ghana cities to what? To spend. So let's read the question clearly again. A household has 300 cities to spend on rice and soda drinks. A bag of rice costs 20 Ghana cities. And a pack of soda also costs 15 cities. If the household should spend all the 300 cities, you are asked to write a mathematical expression relating to the number of rice and the number of soda drinks to what? To buy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have such problem like this, the first thing to think about is the decision what? Variables. What are the decision variables? And I said the decision variables are the unknown items that you're supposed to what buy in this question. Therefore, 
how many decision variables do I have in this problem? That is the first thing you need to identify. If I know, then I can go on to do what formulate the mathematical problem that I have been given. So let's come here. Let me use uh, the whiteboard. Can we all see the whiteboard? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I like the fact that you guys are quiet. Some of the classes, they just make noise. So thank you for being quiet. Thank you. I just talking. I didn't say you should talk. <laughs> okay, so guys, like I said, we need to identify the decision word variables. Okay. And you need to read from the problem you have. How many decision variables do I have? If I know your problem is to know how many, how many of the decision variables to get for each of the items that you have. And our problem is saying that we have bags of rice to what? Buy. Uh, rice, rice to buy. And packs of soda to also what? Buy. But we don't know, based on the cost price for each of these items, we don't know how many to buy at every given point in time. Therefore, my decision variable is to identify the number, the number of each item to what? To buy. So, as I said, we are going to use x1, x2, x3 to represent our decision word variables. Therefore, my problem here is to say that let x1 represent number of what? Bags of rice to buy. And let x2 represent number of what? Packs of soda. Soda. What? To buy. This is my decision word variable. Let x1 represent the unit price, unit cost, unit profit, number of bags of the item that I intend to buy. Then let x2 represent, if they are more decision variable, you continue to say let x3, x4, x5, x6 represent the number of items that I want to what, buy. In that regard, you've been able to define your decision variables. Is that okay? So if I come back to my problem that I have here, the question is saying that, how do you write a mathematical equation? So when you see, let x1, x2 be the number of bags of rice and packs of soda to what? To buy. Once I know this, I also have to identify the coefficient of each of the decision word variables. We are told that a bag of rice will cost us what? 20. And a pack of soda will cost us what? 15. Okay, means that if I want to know the total number of bags of rice I have purchased, it's going to be what? The unit cost of bag of rice times the number. At the same time, the unit cost of what? Pack of rice times the number. So we are told that a bag of rice is what? Going to cost us 15 Ghana cities. I hope that's... No, 20 Ghana cities, sorry. A, pack of, a bag of rice is costing us 20 Ghana cities, rice. And that of soda is 15 cities, okay? And I have an amount of what? 300 cities to spend. 
how do I exhaust this total amount? I can only know that if I'm able to multiply the unit cost of what? Bag of rice times what? That unknown number of bags of rice I'm supposed to what? To buy. Therefore, I'm going to have what? 20x1 plus, because I'm spending the 300, my unit cost of the pack of soda times the number of soda that I don't know is going to be 15 times x2. The total of these two should be equal to or less than the amount of money that I have in my what, wallet. So this should be equal to what? 300. We are told to spend all the money. What I have done is that I have represented the whole problem in a form of what? An equation. How many of us are confused at this stage? Sir, please have Zero. A I'm saying that once you are given a problem of such, our time is up very soon. We'll be closing because you have another class, right? Better that you have another class. Yes, sir. We start at what time? At uh, 10.30, please. Okay, so can I get 15 minutes of your time to finish this slide? All of you? Yes, sir. Perfect. Which class do you have after this? Um, it's computing. Oh, computer. Yo, Mate. We are also doing <laughs> computer. Okay, so... That said, I'm saying that when you are given a problem of this sort, okay, which is a simple problem, problem I have here, a household, but do you understand the whole problem? That's the first thing. Understanding the problem is the main solution. You are given 300 to spend on rice and soda drinks. You go to a cram mall and you are told the unit, the bag of rice for each rice that you want to buy, a cost is equal to 20. 